Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, we are going to cover the art of arranging furniture for your living room space. I'll be sharing some essential tips to help you craft a both a functional and stylish living room layout. And if you haven't seen it already, I did a previous video where I talk about how to concept and pick out furniture for your living room. So that would be a good video to watch after this. All right, let's get going. You first want to consider how your room is going to be used in a functional sense. Will this be a space where you're going to watch TV? Are you going to be hosting guests? Um, will it be a place for lounging or just having a conversation? Understanding the room's purpose is going to guide your furniture layout. So make sure you spend some time to really list all the functions that this room needs to perform for your life and your family's life. It's very common for a living room to have multiple functions, but a key aspect of a cohesive living room layout is creating an intimate conversational area. And this is typically centered around a focal point such as a TV or a fireplace. But if your room has neither of these, then the center of the room becomes the focal point by arranging your furniture around a coffee table so that there is fostering intimacy and good conversation. So my first tip or where I think you should begin is by choosing and selecting your main seating. Whether it's a sofa, a sectional or accent chairs, you're going to start positioning the seating um, around your focal point to start grounding the space. Let's look at a few different layouts where the main seating is arranged in different ways. In these first concept images, you have the main seating, so your sofa or your sectional, whatever it might be, where it's facing towards the focal point. And then you can also have the option of arranging your main seating where it's flanking the focal point. So it kind of creates this asymmetrical layout. And then lastly, again, with not having either a TV or a fireplace and the center of the room is the main focal point, you, these are some examples of how the furniture has been arranged towards the coffee table. What these layouts all have in common is that they have arranged the seating in a way that still promotes and fosters intimate conversation. Now that you have figured out your main seating, next we're going to add in and layer in your accent seating and your coffee table. And again, arranging them in a way, thinking about wanting to create intimate conversation. I personally love to use maybe two sofas and accent chairs to fill up the rest of the space versus sectionals because it allows for my designs to be a lot more complex, have a lot more variation in texture and in shapes, which overall I think makes a living room look more visually appealing and adds a lot of interest and character to a space. Okay, so you have an idea of what primary seating you want to use and where that is arranged, how you're going to position it around a focal point. You have now had an idea of what your accent seating is going to be and you have um, an idea of where your coffee table is. Next, we're going to want to basically boost up the functionality of your living room by adding in side tables and accent lighting. If you do have the space for it, it's always nice to put additional seating by a pair of ottomans or a pair of stools. So I would also recommend that. But before you start picking out those things, make note of the electrical outlets in your living room so you have an idea of where your table lamps and your floor lamps need to be placed and then you can fill in the rest from there. A design tip to create a cozy and defined layout is to position your furniture away from the wall and more towards the center of the room or towards the coffee table. Last but not least, don't forget about an area rug. You want your area rug extremely large in scale and that the majority of your furniture is going to be at least fully on the rug. That's how you know what size you're gonna need or some of the legs of the furniture will be half off the rug. But don't forget the rug. Let's explore some common living room layouts through a few visual um, concept images. Uh, these are very common layouts and the first one that is used very often is a single sofa paired with two accent chairs, which works really nicely in smaller spaces. Um, this other one is a personal favorite of mine where you have two sofas facing each other and if you have the space for it, then you can add in a pair
pair of accent chairs. And then last, for those that are going to going to use the sectional route, here are a few examples of a sectional that is accompanied by two accent chairs. Now that you have a few design tips on how to lay out your furniture, I do highly encourage that you experiment with different arrangements. Maybe you want to blue tape um, different furniture arrangements in your living room to really get a feel for what works best for you and your lifestyle. Um, and once you've figured that out, then go ahead and check out this video to start concepting and choosing the furniture for your space. If you have further questions or just need a little confidence um, in you know, making the right decision, please don't hesitate to reach out. I offer virtual design consultations and I'd be happy to help. You just need to link on my website below and then fill out an inquiry form. So that wraps up today's video, everyone. My name is Asha Wynn. Thank you guys so much for staying tuned and keep on coming back to learn about design. So until next time, everyone, stay curious, stay creative. Bye.